Hello again and welcome from the Maniac Guy up here in Maine. So this is part two, I guess, of the uh, mounting and bore sighting of the of the scope kind of series. So we'll be talking today about this little device here and how it works. Now this is there's a lot of different devices available. Uh, this is the the Bushnell optical bore sighter. Now in the past, I've always used laser bore sighters. Going to be frank with you, they work great. I've gone through about three of them over the past. 20 years or so, uh, the last one I went through was one too many. So I decided to go with instead a uh, an optical bore sighter like this guy. I'm going to splice in a picture of what that looks like when you're looking down the lenses of the scope. And I'll put that in right now. Okay, so basically what you're, what you're seeing is we already know because we took and we properly went through and we torqued the scope down to specs and we made sure everything was was uh, leveled out correctly and all that stuff. So I'm not so worried about whether or not this guy is where it wants to be as far as left left to right, you know, as far as uh, being straight up and down. I mean, it's it's pretty pretty darn close to straight up and down. The way this one works, some have arbors that go on the end of your barrel. The way this guy here works is it's a magnetic so it just plugs into the end. So really what I'm worried about is I'm worried about the elevation more than anything, which is why I've got this ruler here. So basically I took my ruler and put it on the top of the barrel and I measured up to the, basically the exact center of that uh, objective lens in the end. Uh, so I, I made sure that I went from the center of that lens to the barrel. For me, on this one, that was about an inch. It was an inch off the top of the barrel. Uh, you could go by the bore, the barrel, whatever. So what I did here, I did the same thing. And basically this is placed an inch off from the compensator of the barrel. They're both right about there, the same same height. So now I know that my bore sighter and my scope are the same height. As I say, I'm not too worried about any cant, if this thing is canted left or right, because I know that my my scope is uh, is is laser laser straight as far as that goes so i'm just kind of trying to get the crosshairs pretty much lined up now what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down and i'm going to adjust my windage and elevation until my center point uh on my on my reticle of my scope matches the center point of that kind of uh the image that you saw early on in the video so that those two line up so i'm going to go ahead and do that now and then i'll splice in a picture of what that looks like here in a minute. And what that's going to do is that's going to get us pretty much where we want to be as far as being on paper. Uh, it's not going to, it's no substitute for sighting it in um, and it's not going to zero it, but it's going to get it pretty darn close. So thus just making the whole process a little bit more effective and saving us money and time on ammo and frustration so we can spend more time doing what we want to do. And that's punching holes in paper and blowing up milk jugs and having fun. So all right, uh, well, let me go ahead and get this done so I can get that picture in there and show you what that looks like. And then we'll close this video out. And in the next video, I will show you how to get a one-shot zero on your rifle. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, so that took all of about three to five seconds, I would estimate. And as you can see, with the difference between the first picture and the second picture that I just put up, and I'll put them back to back as well, uh, so that you can kind of get a, get a reference on what I'm talking about, just by adjusting your, in case you don't know, the, the uh, elevation and the, and the uh, windage on this, we can get that lined up so we're pretty close to exactly where we want to be. Because as you can see in the second photo, uh, they've, they've lined up. We've gone ahead and lined up that, that optical image that we're seeing. And that's really all there is to this, guys. Uh, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and close out and see you soon on the next video uh, for the One Shot Zero. Alrighty, guys. Well, thanks again for watching. It's always great to have you. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Bye now.